Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where we try to find the best way to see the world. In this video, we will explore how humans have created underwater habitats for marine life using various objects such as sunken ships, radio towers, boxcars, and even voting machines. We will also learn about the benefits and challenges of artificial reefs and how they are changing the ocean landscape. But first, let me ask you a question. Do you know what is the largest artificial reef in the world? Is it A, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, B, the USS Oriskany in Florida, C, the King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology Reef in Saudi Arabia, or D, the Osborne Reef in Florida? Think about it and leave your answer in the comments below. I will reveal the correct answer at the end of the video. Artificial reefs are man-made structures that are intentionally or unintentionally placed on the seafloor to provide habitat for marine life and recreational opportunities for fishing and diving. Artificial reefs have been created from decommissioned ships, chicken transport cages, concrete pipes, rail cars, and more. According to a recent study, artificial reefs cover a total of about 7 square miles, 19 square kilometers, of U.S. seafloor an area equivalent to 3,600 football fields. These reefs are located in 17 states, with Florida having the most artificial reef area, followed by Texas and New Jersey. Artificial reefs can be hotspots for large predatory fish, such as groupers and jacks. They can also serve as stepping stones for reef fish, expanding their range northward with warming water temperatures and as rest stops for sharks. Artificial reefs can be strategically designed and placed to optimize fish habitat and support fisheries management. However, artificial reefs also pose some challenges and risks. For example, some artificial reefs may attract fish away from natural reefs, reducing their biodiversity and resilience. Some artificial reefs may also introduce pollutants, invasive species, or diseases into the marine environment. Moreover, some artificial reefs may create conflicts among different user groups, such as commercial and recreational fishers, divers, and conservationists. Therefore, artificial reef creation and management require careful planning, monitoring, and evaluation to ensure that they are ecologically sound, socially acceptable, and economically viable. Marine life is an essential component of the global life support system, providing various services such as carbon capture, renewable energy, and protection from storm surges. Marine life also contributes to the biodiversity and resilience of natural ecosystems, such as coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass beds. However, marine life is threatened by human activities, such as overfishing, pollution, habitat destruction, and climate change. Therefore, it is important to conserve and restore marine life and habitats for the benefit of the ecosystem and human well-being. Marine life can help us monitor and predict the changes and impacts of climate change on the planet. For example, marine organisms can serve as indicators of ocean acidification, sea level rise, ocean warming, and ocean circulation. Marine life can also provide valuable data and insights for climate research and modeling such as using sound waves from underwater earthquakes to measure ocean warming or using coral skeletons to reconstruct past climate conditions. Moreover, marine life can inspire solutions and innovations for addressing the climate crisis, such as using seaweed to capture carbon dioxide or using marine biotechnology to develop new materials and medicines. One of the ways that marine life can help scientists understand the earth warming dangers is by showing the effects of increased greenhouse gas emissions on the ocean. For instance, scientists have found out that the reduction of ship pollution in 2020, which was intended to improve air quality, actually accelerated global warming by decreasing the formation of marine clouds that reflect heat back to space. This finding suggests that human actions have a significant influence on the Earth's energy balance and climate system, and that reducing emissions is crucial for avoiding dangerous levels of warming. Artificial reefs can help travelers by providing recreational opportunities and economic benefits. Artificial reefs can attract fish and other marine life, creating hotspots for fishing and diving. 
Artificial reefs can also enhance the development of rare coral species that are not often found on natural reefs. These artificial reefs can then attract diving tourists, easing human pressure on natural reefs. Artificial reefs can also improve surfing conditions by altering the shape and size of waves. According to a study, the coastal reef from Brisbane to Sydney, past Melbourne and all the way to Perth, is worth about $10 billion a year in social economy. So what is the largest artificial reef in the world? As promised, I will reveal the answer for the question asked at the beginning of the video. Are you ready? Well, the answer is D. The Osborne Reef in Florida. Is your answer was D, you are right. This reef was created in the 1970s by dumping over 2 million used tires into the ocean, hoping that they would provide habitat for fish and corals. However, this turned out to be a huge environmental disaster as the tires became detached, scattered, and damaged the natural reefs and marine life. Since then, efforts have been made to remove the tires and restore the area. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the ecosystem, the U.S. artificial coral reef, and what is going on. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and like to always see you next time.